and what made them stand out. Okay. Mount Rushmore of Selaners. Good good question. I like the question you're so salty. If I I would say Obviously Deathwalker, and that's it. No, I'm just kidding. Deathwalker, Dimmy, Benji. Deathwalker, Dimmy, Benji, and I think you gotta throw Scary in there. Scary's a two-time world champion. So you gotta put some respect on his name. Baskin, bro? I mean, Baskin was really good, but he only played solo for like... In SPL, he only played solo for... Uh, I guess he played for like three seasons, but he never won Worlds. You still wanna solo, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I can't even say that his name, Tyler, but yeah, I know he will be. It's okay. Omega, Game Hunter, Baskin, Deathwalker, Scary D? Hippie, you don't have Benji in your Mount Rushmore of Soul Laners? Or Dimmy? Dimmy's a two-time world champion. Benji's a one-time world champion slash probably the best solo ever. Just based on its consistency. Benji's not on your list, it's not valid? Yeah, exactly what Nika said. I mean, Omega and Game Hunter are sick, guys. Game Hunter's never won a world, for one. So there's just like a little, I think there's more nostalgia there. Omega, you could argue, is uh, Mount Rushmore for sure. But um, I just, uh, I, I personally wouldn't put him there. I would rather, I would put the other four that I said. Yeah, exactly. There you go, what Agro said. The grow is spoken. And you could put, like you could put Omega in for Maybe scary if he wanted to, just because, like, even though scary is a two-time world champion, he didn't. He hasn't impact. He didn't really impact the meta as much as like a, an Omega, or even like a variety, to be honest. But I think the fact that he's a two-time world champion is enough to say. Not only that, but he had actually a really good world season four, no season three, when LG. Were they, were they LG at the time? I think they were LG when LG played NRG. And Scary played like Ama and stuff. He had a really good world showing there too, so. Like Scary's always played well at Worlds. And if uh, if you are to believe what most of the Smite community thinks, that's the only, the only important and only tournament all year. We just have one tournament every year, one thing to play for. Nothing else matters, so. Yeah, it's pretty troll, gee whiz. Do you think starters on mid are still good, Conduit Gems? They are, but people are more and more inclined to skip it just because the upgrades are so nice and the option to do whatever you want. Divios, always my favorite from the old days. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's another one. Divios could be argued top four as well. You could probably put Divios in there because he's also world champion. He also defined a lot of metas and was really, really good for as long as he played. But if you were to ask me, you guys are asking, the, the opinion was my honest opinion on it. My four would be Dimmy, Deathwalker, Benji, Scary. Yo, King Nemo, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, man. Welcome to the Fonzo family. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Cyclone Spin was the entire meta for a bit there. Yeah, Cyclone was amazing as well, but he didn't win as a solo laner. He never won like Worlds as a solo laner, or even did well at Worlds as a solo laner. And, uh,. I think the the play that team's play style was more to make him the meta, like whatever he did the meta. So not that I mean that doesn't change too much, but yo, why blue man, thanks for converting your prime sub to a tier one sub. Much appreciated, dude. Well yeah, for sure, Weeb. I mean I agree, but it depends. Like Deathwalker hasn't won worlds, but he's like He's in my, he's in my Mount Rushmore and probably number one. He and Benji are like my, my one and two. They're like fighting for one and two. So I don't, I don't think you have to be a world champion to be on the, the Mount Rushmore, but it definitely helps. And if you've won two, like scary, if you've won two, even though it's a team game, there's definitely a big reason. Like you're definitely part of the reason that you're a two time world champion. Sometimes, I mean, maybe one, it's a fluke. 
Your team carried you, whatever. They're not two. Whose face would you actually want to carve, though? I mean, they're all handsome men. Probably Demi, though. Dude, Demi's a fucking... Oh, goodness gracious. All, all I'm gonna say is you better keep your 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 girls away from Demi. Oh, did you did you see Tyler? I have I have Conche to, new, to Nacho, Conche to Nacho on my team. Is it, what does that mean? Conche to Nacho? Something your your Nacho? Um. Yeah, yeah, I did see that, Meeks. Are, are you the person who showed me that on Twitter or whatever? Somebody messaged me that or something. Thinks his dog? Oh, okay. So he camps your lane still, right? Per the rules? Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Those were the rules. Those are the rules. What the heck did my buff run over there for? Did you guys see that? Why did it run away? Glitch in the matrix. I guess I could have messed with them at their blue if I just fast cleared that. I don't know. I think it's better to just push the wave and then get it. Oh, what the? How did I take a tower shot there? Am I dead? What the f? How did I fucking take a tower shot? Are there minions there? Whatever, dude. I guess I have to back. Screw it. Screw it. I'm gonna back. Starting blue the new meta for solo. No, it's not dogwood butter. I just do it some games. I was gonna get totem pressure, <laughs> but then I fucking took a tower shot and I did 800% of my health. Come on, Saint. Oh, I just put two points to my three. Oops. I'm lit. I got counterpicked hard. My only CC is knockup. I guess slow as well. And he's got knockup immunity on all six of his abilities. Gonna do any more Pixabon? Uh, maybe. I don't think anytime soon. It's fun, but it's a little slow pace for your boy. It's fun though. It's relaxing and stuff as well, which is nice. But I like to get my my kicks from Valorant and Smite these days. that one not hit it was bad I wish I had two points in my one that whole time would have been nice wouldn't it have been Tank boots, what the fuck? Come on, Saint. I have more respect for you. Is 
So is Benji just like NA bias? You trolling? Why do you think he's NA bias? I've legit barely ever heard of him. Are you new to the SPL, hippie? If you're a band, yeah, I mean, of all time, it's probably like Blink 182. But uh, I also really like modern baseball. Guess I stay for one more wave. <laughs> Isn't that so troll? My one doesn't hit it, but the the back hit of my one hits it. What the fuck? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. These are some good questions though. Maybe we can talk about the mid lane support in ADC. Not Rushmore's after this. Mana incoming. Right is he actually here though? I think he is. Right this could slice right through bone. Shifters is also insanely good on Pele, so I probably could have gone that, but I kind of like the attack speed you get from Berserkers. Kind of nice on her. No one has played him in as long as I have, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you think I should consider that in the Rushmore? Tyler Whitney's. OP man, he just disarms me. Knock, knock up immunes my freaking two. He also has a million defense already. hard out trade him unless I just like make him waste his abilities in space for him Lukey Pookie thanks for the tier one sub man welcome to the Fonzo family thank you thank you that's on soul eater now I think it's really exclusively a uh, a Wukong item. I don't really build on anybody else. I don't think it's really good on anybody else. It's kind of a trash item, to be fair.
Remember the days where Soul Eater was good on Pele? I mean, it's still fine on her. I just don't think you need to build it. It's kind of a waste of an item slot in a lot of scenarios. It's not like it's bad on her. She's one of the few characters that's actually viable, I think. Shell as well. Shell. Maybe Nike maybe gets my blue here. If that Ganesha doesn't ult, I'm pretty sure I killed the Vamana. Which is kind of crazy. I almost killed him through his ult with no anti heal. You got this. I'm gonna go void shield here, chat. Holy moly. I don't really know what starter I'm gonna go. The world is my oyster. Could go Boombas. Look at that, the back hit of a hit. Oh, come on. <laughs> if I saw you gank me two seconds ago, why are you gonna sit in the exact spot I saw you gank me from? That was pretty troll. By Vamanas. What about Tainted? Yeah, I was thinking about going Tainted. Tainted Breastplate's pretty sick here, if you ask me. Not that you did, but you should be. If you didn't. Mine's gonna have ult again. Impressive. Impressive. <laughs> Who's your favorite person to play against in Soul and SPL? I don't have a favorite. That question's always weird to me. I don't have a favorite to play against. My favorite to play against is whoever I fucking shit on. Because then I can make more money. <laughs> Has anyone ever been that honest with their with an, a question? I have fun playing against everybody, though. <laughs> I'm obviously joking a little bit, but I just don't, I don't really ever like the question because I, I just I like playing with my team more and I just like playing competitive games. It doesn't matter who's on the enemy team. Obviously, the more competitive is usually the more fun, but it also is a little bit more stressful when it's closer. What the heck? Why did he just never jump? Was he waiting for Susana at three? I think his ult was still down to be fair, but... Did I call you bad? No. I didn't say anything about you. I didn't even say it was easy to play against. What are you talking about? I said, who's, somebody asked me what, who my favorite person to play against in the SPL. I'm sure you've got this question a lot, Nika. And the answer is always like weird, because it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't care who I play against. It's not really about... I don't really have like a favorite to play against. I just said whoever is the easiest to beat because then it's I make more money. I was kidding a little bit. But yeah, I just said I don't really care. Maybe what? You guys are just trying to start drama. I didn't say any of that. What the heck? Oh! No, my passive ran out! Oh wait, it just came back. Never mind, I never even had it. Am I stupid? I don't want to get Hanchi ulted around the corner here, so I'm just going to run all the way back here. Uh, we were talking. Well, we said it earlier, Ayn. 
We were talking about him earlier. You could definitely argue WS in the Mount Rush form. I just personally wouldn't. Because I played against him. And I think he kind of got carried a little bit by his team. But that's just me. Earlier on, maybe he didn't. I think maybe like season one, season two, season three. He definitely didn't, but. Off the top of your head, do you feel like you've shit on the most solo? I don't know, man. I mean, an SPL? Why did they take the scenic route to get over here? Oh no, he got hit by that. And why is this Mamana ganking me, dude? Get out of here. Go away. They have a Changa, so if they brawl like this, it's just really good for them. Take the portal, take the portal. Janus, portal for him. Give him a freaking portal. You're just staring at it. <gasps> no, he portaled the ground. I guess it helped him. Got him out. He actually just watched for so long. Where do you put DJ Pern as a jungler? He wouldn't be on the Mount Rushmore. DJ was a really good leader and like a, a, a decent player, but he was never like ever in contention for like, a, like being one of the best junglers. But to be fair, that's like, what does it even mean, you know? Because he was always like good for his team. He did his role on his team. It's all about team game. It's all about being like a team at the end of the day, right? So, and there's things that you do to make other players look good and you need that for teams. Like you need that in every single competitive game or even in sports, like The quarterback's not going to look great if the offensive line isn't great. And the offensive line never gets a, enough credit, you know? But if you're, like, in a sick offensive line or you have your team has a sick offensive line, then they, that's one of the main reasons the QB is going to do really well, you know? He just has so much time in, time in the pocket. Screw this brute man. Do you double PVM? We used to. We don't really do it anymore. I'm just gonna go Heartseeker Tainted Breastplate, I think. And then sell my boots for Erendite. I didn't want to go Pestilence because I had Tainted Breastplate in the works. Let me get my passive here. Nice. Did a little bit of healing back. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter, but. I took Janice's way, but he's Janice. Come on. He can get all the farm he wants. Berserker's passive actually works really well with Pele passive, so it's kind of cool. Oops. Didn't mean to use my one like that. If I get this wave and, uh, or this blue in the next wave, I might be able to... Well, I'll be really close to Tainted Breastplate. I might just stay until I can get it and not get Heartseeker yet.
I'm just gonna be really greedy and stay until I get Tainted Breastplate here. Let me place this sentry. Yeah, he actually did, ish. Pretty funny, right? Go get the back camps. Hopefully they're not over here. Don't have beads or blink. And I have no pots. We have it. Oh, I guess we don't quite have it, but we can have it now. So we get 40 power from this, 70 physical prot, 30 magical protections, and then 50% anti-heal. Feels good, man. I'm coming. Let's get them, boys. No, no one's ever done an approximate. Did I just get cursed on? Hmm, that's too bad. Oh no. Oh, he dashed through it. I didn't pop a health chalice the entire time. Dude, I swear I clicked it like 10 times. Is it bugged? What? That hit it? Wasn't he like backpedaling? Must be bugged. With her as a new addition to the roster, does it change the ghost best spoon tier list? I don't know. Hurry and I have never spooned before, so I'll have to let you know once we've done it. Hey, Final Good, do you think that skill ceiling skill floor have gone up or down with the start aims being introduced? Definitely gone up. This could slice right through bone. Definitely gone up. Paley is so fun, man. They should play her more. Paley and Willix, I need to play more. They used to be like my favorite solos. They still kind of are, I just never play them. They wouldn't be my, they're not my favorite, but I, I definitely enjoy them. That's true, Tyler. I don't have CDR in this build and I could go Pridwin. To be fair, I do have 20% from blue. Take a shot every time I've ever said, I don't have CDR in this build, but I have 20% from blue. You'd be drunk, quite drunk. <laughs> they don't have enough soul leaners at high res, that's why Nanuk. Ganesh is such a useless, stupid character. What are you doing, stupid elephant? <laughs> they know I'm not the jungler, right? <laughs> nice job. We'd be dead. You really would. Don't do it. I don't condone it. <laughs> yeah, him and Kumba, I do, Laszlo. That guy has an old. Oh, get the penta. Oh, he's not gonna get it. Yeah, 
He's not gonna get it. He's not even gonna go for it. Ah! No, the Titan killed me! What's the deal with that, guys? The Titan killed me! No one was taking it! I mean, what's the deal with the Titan? What's his problem? Susano 17 and 0, but I'm still top damage and mitigated. Easy. It is lo-fi dream macked. Dream macked. Cue a JFK impression? I don't think I can. Maybe. I don't remember. 28k damage. Easy. 